Joining me now from Southern California, Executive Vice President for Citizens for Self-Governance, Mike Ruthenberg. Uh, Mike, I gave a talk to a group. Many Californians uh, were in the audience, and I was explaining about an Article 5 convention of the states to amend the Constitution, and many of them had never heard about it, but they got it. They understood that what Donald Trump is doing, and, and some Republicans on Capitol Hill trying to get this country back on the constitutional tracks uh, is great, but it's just simply not going to be good enough, and that the framers of the Constitution put Article 5 in there for the people through the states to directly amend the Constitution to try and put the brakes. This is basically an emergency lever, and it's time we pull it. But here, here's the question. In a state like California or Illinois or New York, how do you, how do you make this work? We have 12 states signed on so far. Uh, so many of them are in the South. Uh, many of them tend to lean conservative, red states. Uh, but cl clearly, California, New York, Illinois, they're very, very blue states. So how do you get the legislatures on board? Well, you certainly don't start with the legislatures because those legislators generally are going to go along to get along, which is part of the problem, especially in California. But what is important is to have supporters. For example, in California, there's over 54,000 people that, if you did the math, would be about 1,000 for every legislative district in California that have signed the petition to bring a convention of states. And if you build an army of self-governing activists, then what happens is those people ultimately come along when you hit 34 states. And if California happens to be one of them, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. If Illinois, New York, none of those states are needed to get there, but you do need their participation once you get there. Okay, 34 states per the Constitution to trigger an Article 5 convention of the states, which has never been triggered before. As I mentioned, 12 so far. Do you believe that if critical mass is nearing or or, or if you hit critical mass, that is 34 states, or, or maybe you hit maybe 25, 28, 30 states, do you think that that will finally get the attention of states like California, New York, and Illinois? Well, I think we do have the attention of, uh, of the whole national scene, and the reason I say that is because our opponents are lining up all the people that are focused on big government, all the people that like the, the tax and spend mentality are starting to realize that they better take us seriously, even though we've only passed 22, excuse me, 12 states. When we get to 22, 23 states, look out. They're going to get more fierce and more ugly, and it's going to be up to us Americans that understand what's going on that we are the only answer to break that way of life for those entrenched politicians. All right, and you're taking, you're putting your money where your mouth is in this. Uh, uh, coming up, is it this weekend? You have a training session in Sacramento, California? That's right. Which essentially to me is, you know, obviously, it's, it's going right into the fire. You're taking it to the sinners, uh, if you will. Is, is the objective here, you know, not only to do some training regarding Article 5 and, and producing a convention of the states, but also to draw some attention in California to this effort? Well, that's part of it. But remember, if you take a scalpel and you remove, like, let's say, San Francisco, Los Angeles, uh, metro areas, then you have mostly a red state here in in California and as a result there's a lot of people that really care about what we're doing that want to be heard and as you can tell by the numbers there's a good reason to to teach these people and to catch fire because California is such a populous state all right now on the national level you truly are bringing together a, a small army a grassroots army are you not yeah we have uh, nationwide over 800,000 petitions signed that are requesting of their legislator. These are delivered to legislators nationwide in all 5,373 districts. And we have just over 3.1 million supporters. And it is growing very rapidly. We're bringing in roughly about 1,000 petition signers every day. Last month, September, we had over 40,000 people sign our petition that are looking for a change that they know the elected people are electing the right people isn't going to bring. Now, the President of the United States has come out in favor of term limits, and term limits is one of the items that would be considered if a convention of the states is triggered at the 34 states. Um, but he hasn't, as far as I know, openly come out and said, yes, uh, he supports a convention of the states. I think he does in a backhanded, kind of tacit way by supporting uh, term limits. I had uh, Senator Mike Lee of Utah on this program. He was rather lukewarm about an Article 5 convention of the states. Uh, is there a champion or are there some champions on Capitol Hill? Not that you need Congress, 
per the Constitution, you don't need Congress, but it would be nice to garner a little bit of momentum, a little bit of publicity. Are there some champions on Capitol Hill? Uh, yes, and, and there's also, just so you know, there's a lot of pushback from the, the inside the beltway and the reason is because that's the establishment generally those people right. are pretty happy even the conservative folks are pretty happy with the things that are going on for them personally and there's so much information you know the fake news thing is is big and so a lot of people as you mentioned before aren't terribly well versed and so why would you take a stand for something that you're not particularly well versed for but we've had five presidential candidates in the past election all endorse convention of states mm -hmm. we have a, a serious number of people who understand what's going on that's bringing this to light. Four states signed on this year, this calendar year alone. Do you see any more on the horizon during the calendar year 2017? Oh, yeah. Well, it's possible we can hit with Ohio, with uh, Michigan, and uh, with um, uh, Minnesota, which are still in session. Virtually no other states have legislative session running right now and we're really mostly in a ramp up session for 2018 and we're we're working right now as you can tell by the results on getting people educating them and getting them to reach out to their elected officials so they can educate them because at the state level that's really the only place we the people can have an impact on our elected officials it's just too dilute to to go after it in D.C. And of course, timing is everything because uh, right now, more states are in control by Republicans, legislatures and governors. Uh, and this is the, the time to strike now through 2018. So hopefully 2018 will be the year that you, you seal the deal. And for more information, people want to sign up or, or get more information. Once again, the website. The website is conventionofstates.com, conventionofstates.com. Go there, take a look around, and see if you can support what we're doing or if you've found a solution that's better than the one that we've found. I haven't found one yet. Mike, thanks. Sign the petition at cosaction.com and get as many of your friends and family to do the same. With your full address, your state legislators will know that you really are their constituents in their district. Our success depends on you, so we're inviting you to be part of history. Let's invoke the constitutional solution that's as big as the problem.